political leaders are known to give lighthearted speeches at press gallery dinners, sometimes poking fun at themselves and even making jokes about the media. But Green Party leader Elizabeth May's remarks over the weekend were not well received. Her failed attempt at edgy humor, including dropping the F-bomb and saying convicted terrorist Omar Cotter had more class than the conservative cabinet fell flat, forcing her to later apologize. So we hit the streets to see if you think politicians should have the freedom to say whatever they want at events such as the press gallery dinner. Yeah, why not? In that, in that context, for sure. I think we need to encourage as much truth and honesty out of our political leaders as possible. So if we are discouraging them from speaking freely, then we're basically just asking them to lie to us. It's freedom, right? It's kind of freedom thing, so I guess. A mountain out of molehill. Elizabeth May is a good politician. I like her, and so she said the F word. Big deal. Sure, why not? Yeah, it's kind of a fun event for everyone, so yeah, relax. Yeah, freedom of speech is an important thing, no matter... No, no matter what your political background or you know views are. Well, maybe taking that too far, um, but freedom of speech and speaking your mind is nothing wrong with that. If someone has an opinion and is in a power to explain their opinion, I think that's good. They should, uh, but if they regret it after, I think they should apologize. They should be able to apologize for it with no regret, like with not everybody just like tearing them apart. Everybody has a right to how they feel, and you know, freedom of speech, right? She's allowed to do it. It's not that it was right, but. Absolutely not. Part of the cost of, uh, or part of the uh, the reward or benefit of being a political leader is using discretion. So I think the uh, whatever they say has to be first of all appropriate, and second of all in line with the party that they have uh, ascribed themselves to.